I'm so glad we went a second time. <laughs> <laughs> What up guys, we're here at Team Oyama in Irvine and I'm with the very first UFC strawweight champion, Carla, the cookie monster Esparza and she's gonna kick my ass today. But before we do that, she's gonna run me through some workouts that has helped her become a better fighter. Yeah, I'm really excited. This is actually stuff I'm doing right now. I wouldn't put you through anything I haven't done myself. I'm getting ready for a fight, so I'm gonna kick his butt and then Kick his butt. <laughs> Why are you smiling so much? I feel like you're gonna put me through like some really bad workouts. Oh, it, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> you have a fight coming up, but when is the fight? Um, I am fighting on September 8th, uh, UFC 228. Ooh. Shout out to Ron, my coach, for saying this stuff. He loves putting me through hell. And I was asking Ron, I'm like, hey, uh, should we do like light sparring or what should we do? And then Ron was telling me that he told Carla, he's twice your size, so make sure you wear headgear and a mouthpiece. And I'm like, why would you set it up like that? Now she's gonna like kill me with all her might when I thought it was supposed to be like a friendly matchup. Are you gonna go hard? Ron said, show no mercy. <laughs> that won't be that hard for Bart. What? You try it, dude. <laughs> you, you, you try. Whoa, 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 We recycle. All right, so a lot of times in fighting, you know, um, you're forced in positions where you're having to like grab and squeeze somebody, you're on the cage, you're locked up with somebody, and then sometimes they break away, you release, and you gotta, ba 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 ba. you gotta have like that, that fast speed, you gotta be ready to go again. So this is kind of what the exercise is trying to replicate. Yeah. So you have this nice body bag over here, and I'm gonna have you hold and squeeze. When someone held you, have you ever just like, give them a like, kiss before? <laughs> is that legal in the UFC? Well, not in the cage. Oh, okay. You can't, so you, no kissing allowed in the cage. I don't know if there's a rule against it. Okay. But. <laughs> Maybe I'll tweet at Dana White, and like, yo, Dana, are we allowed to kiss? in the cage, because that's one of my favorite techniques. But. <laughs> All right. So I'll pick that up, hold so, it. You can do any kind of hold you want for wrestlers, you know, this butterfly grip right here, or the famous I, I know these ones. gable grip yeah, yeah, yeah. right here. Okay. Or not want to do a nice little S grip right here, okay. whatever is your choice. Okay. But you're just going to hold and squeeze as hard as you can until okay. I give you time. And then you're going to switch, Yeah. run over here, and we're gonna stay low in our stance. Yeah. Because when we fight, we're not up tall. We gotta have a nice damn, athletic legs position. Than or no? I need to work on my legs. Oh, They're similar. I know. Oh, damn it. Should have worn other shorts. <laughs> now you're gonna just come here and explode on these ropes. Okay. Until I give you time. What's your favorite grip? My favorite what? Grip. For holding? My favorite grip. Or does it depend on the size of the bag? Uh, my favorite grip is the gable grip. I like gable too. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good one. I have a kid. He's uh, 11 months old, about to be one year. And even when I hold him, like my natural high school wrestling instincts, I hold him like this. <laughs> yeah, feels good. And then I, I know when slap him on the ground. When you go to hug somebody, just get those double unders. Oh yeah, yeah. you always gotta. I always fight for a double under to make sure like <laughs> they don't do any full fast ones. <laughs> All right. So we just start like this. Yeah, you're gonna grab this bag. Lift it up and squeeze until I give you time. Oh my god. You guys don't do like, you know, ease into anything or like listen to music. It's a fight, Bart. <laughs> Come on. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, this guy's a big guy. Who is this, like Fedor? <laughs> Go! This guy's a big guy. So you're gonna squeeze as hard as you can. You're trying to burn your arms out. Take that. Take that, motherfucker. <laughs> you want, you can walk around with it. Okay. How does it feel, Bart? All right. It's pretty heavy. All right, we're gonna switch. Put it back up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And battle ropes. Stay low. Burns. 
and switch. Okay, we're gonna go. Right back to the right oh back to God. the body bag. Oh, okay. Okay. How many rounds do you usually do this? If you were actually training? I actually did this yesterday and I went three minutes. Three minutes. I'm fucking tired already. Three minutes one hold or three minutes it total? Doesn't. Three minutes the whole exercise back and forth. It doesn't look hard, but I'm out of breath. Is that right? Oh, that's totally right. <laughs> really? <sighs> Alright, put your buddy up. Battle ropes. Damn. Oh. And fire. There's no way I'm fighting after this. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm a powerlifter, so we just do like one rep <laughs> for competition, and then you're done. Oh. Is he allowed to rest on his knee like that? Hey, stop oh. cheating. Why are you cheating with your eyes? Come on. Dude, it's a technique. It's a sweep. See? It's oh. which? Damn. Oh. Feel my arms anymore. Switch. Talk to me. What's going on? Fuck. This is hard. This is really hard. I'm not even fucking around. Usually I'm fucking around, but I'm not fucking around. Oh, Inside. oh, thank God. Oh, oh. You do this, Ron? Time to switch, or? Oh, you that do this break. stuff. Break. Okay. We'll be nice. <laughs> you do this stuff too? She said she did this yesterday. Yeah. Do what I'm thinking. You do it just cause. <laughs> we do all this stuff. It's normal. In fact, we can cut your heavy bag off. We can do the same thing. Huh? At your, uh, in your garage. We can cut that heavy bag off. I saw it yesterday. No, you did not. He did. I don't believe you. He did? No, he did. Okay. Ha! <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, so now we rest for like 20 minutes probably. <laughs> you got about 30 more seconds. What's the what's the normal break time for UFC? For UFC? Yeah. One minute in between rounds. It's fast, dude. I went to a UFC fight recently, and uh, the minute it's time, the gate swings open, trainers go in. Cameras go in, and it seems like it's only like 30 seconds. It seems yeah. so fast. By the time you sit down and get situated and have water and talk to your coach, it's like, boom, time to get up again. Yeah, I was watching the fight from uh, the audience, and I wasn't even recovered from the fight yet. And I'm just watching it, and they had the fight again. That's just crazy. During a fight, have you ever thought about like what you're gonna eat after? <laughs> Not during the fight, but definitely before the weigh-ins. Before the weigh-ins. I'm thinking of like, I'm hungry and Chicken been McNuggets. eating salad for a week and I'm just like, I cannot wait for... Pasta, lasagna, meatballs. The fight to be over. Carne salad fries. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what's your, what's your go-to cheat, um, cheat meal after weigh-ins? Guilty indulgence. Because you have to also be careful what you eat before yeah, the fight. Yeah, my traditional meal is always pasta and I always have like a dessert, but... You know, you can't get too crazy because you don't want to have the runs in the fight. Yeah. And uh Have you ever my seen bad, anyone? My bad Justine, but pull a Justine Kish and, and poop on the mat in the fight. <laughs> have you ever seen like uh someone like hold on, I gotta take a shit in the middle of a fight? No, I've never seen that. But I've seen a couple people yeah, it just seems awesome, and I think she actually got a kick out of it after. But I've seen people poop their pants in wrestling and now in fighting, so. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, on to the next exercise. Okay, let's do it. All right. Ready? Yeah, I don't know why I'm wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do three sets of this, but. How many did you do? That was one set. What? I, I came back to it like three times. 
It's a super set bar, come on. Damn. That's all one set. Yeah, my biceps are exploding already. <laughs> so right now, um, oh, I'll come to our new hoops. Oh, okay. This looks fun, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could do this. <laughs> So basically we're gonna imitate like a, a movement drill. We're gonna keep our feet moving. Um, I'm gonna have you move around the hula hoops in fight stance. We're gonna circle here. Yeah. You're always facing inside the hula hoops. So once I get to this point, I'm gonna switch my stance and come around this way. Okay. okay. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> way better. I like this one. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be like a twist. But then yeah. every time I do whatever, you have to sprawl or something crazy. And then uh, during a fight, you, you, sometimes you move, you move, and then sometimes you're going to have to explode. Boom! So we're going to explode and sprint to that end line right there. Oh, this one right here? <laughs> All the way down there. And then we're going to hit a sprawl. Yeah. For those of you who don't wrestle, sprawl is you're going to hit your mat, hips on the mat. Come back up. And then we're going to explode. Sprint again, back and right back into the hula hoops. So I sprint down here. Hit a sprawl. Sprawl, sprint. Okay. And those first initial steps are the most important because in a fight, we don't have like this far to, to find our opponent. The cage is only so far. We're usually about this far. So the, those first like steps are super crucial. Yeah. So I really want you to explode on the, on the beginning, the first three steps, especially on that sprint. Okay, that's pretty scary that you're running at me. Yeah. I'll be waiting for you at the end of the sprint line. Wait, what are you going to do with it? The heck? <laughs> no, no I, need, I need to manage. Okay. Okay. And if you want to throw some punches in there while you're circling, feel free. You know those, you know those. Uh, no. All right, you ready? Yeah. Go! Hands up! So bossy. <laughs> Just like Ron. Sprint! Sprawl! Sprint! Circle! That was a good exercise. This is why I'm never gonna be a fighter. Oh, oh. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> if you make it easier. Sprint, oh, sprint, sprint! Oh. Oh. Was that part of it? No. <laughs> <Free> <laughs> I know bitch. I ain't no bitch. Did you sprawl over there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
Is this some of the stuff you guys do with Bart, or do you think this is something that you'll probably start adding? We kind of do some of this stuff just in the confinements of a driveway. Yeah. It's a little bit smaller. But yeah, but usually I don't make them go this long. Usually we do 30 second rounds. Oh, really? I'm working very up. But it's okay, it's a nice job. It's good for video, though. I'm enjoying it. This is quite fun to watch. You should have brought bref breakfast popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> It's always good to see my boss in pain, so. How was that? How was that? I didn't throw up, dude. You are? I think so. Oh, it's so hard. But I didn't eat anything, so that's good. Oh, I can't even make a fist, I'm so tired. Make a fist? Oh, you have more in you. Look, there's holes in them. Oh, my. Oh, where'd she go? How did he do? Uh, he did pretty good, you know. You could be honest, completely honest. He's an amateur, so I gave him oh. amateur time, three minutes. I normally do five, but... Hey, amateur <laughs> fighters are still good. <laughs> I thought, I thought UFC was like a WWE where you could like, you know, you get in a clinch. Hey, I'm tired, are you tired? Yeah, we're both tired, okay. Let's rest for a little bit, okay. No, it never happens. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'm like, yo. I feel like you just make the other person laugh. No, but like John Jones, dude, come on. I'll let you kick my ass later, but I just take it easy. And you're probably be like, all right, cool. And then, or if I tell uh, Nate Diaz, he might just be like, shut up, bitch, and slap me. I'm like, fine, that's true. Do you uh, shit talk while you're in the ring or no? Not me, but I actually have a couple of teammates who've told me they like whisper sweet nothings into their opponents and you're like, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, oh wow. What now, you little, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we don't cuss on this channel. So what, would you, what would you say, <laughs> yeah we do. <laughs> what would you say in your opponent's ear to get in their head? Did we fight already? Are we on you're the ground? In the, you're in the, yeah, you're fighting. In the middle of the ground, in the middle of the fight? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, hey, my booty hole's ready for you. So if you beat me up, you're gonna have to uh, take this booty and then see if they're uh, really mad enough and if they trade hard enough for that. You know, that's what I would do. Would that be scary to you, Ron? Uh, if I was your opponent and I'm like, hey, are you ready to take my booty hole? Because I'll lick yours. You're gonna have to get through my shorts, my underwear, my jock strap, and then the hair. See, he's already thinking defensively, that. see that? He's already thinking defensively. And then that's when I throw an uppercut. Bam! Bam! And he's like, wait, what the hell? We're back in the fight. And I whisper something else. So you throw the uppercut while you're on the floor? No, you see, we're standing. Oh, you're standing so, yeah, I'm like, you ready to take this booty hole? He goes, what? And I go, bam! 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 And then he goes, oh shit, back in the fight. And then I'm like, I'll lick your wee-wee. And he's like, what? And your hands drop again. I don't think he'll ever be able to fight again. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the next one? Or ice cream? <laughs> ice cream time. Oh, I found myself gagging like three times. <laughs> Ow! Are those really the 50 pounds? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, but there's no handles on it for me. <laughs> <laughs> can you pick can you pick this one up no problem? Like to slam? Okay. How much does that weigh? Is that just 50? 50? Is that really 50? Yeah. Well, it's like, I'm Asian, right? And bags of rice are always 50 pounds, so I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in this one, we're going to hit five reps each ball, and it goes from light to heavy. So oh. we have 30 pounds, yeah. 40 pounds, 50 pounds, and then we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna let loose on this bag with some ground and pound. Yeah. You know, we already picked up our opponent and slammed him. Yeah. Now they're on the ground. Gotta show them who's boss. So more kisses and snuggling? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So, elbow, keep the elbow in tight. Bring it over, over. You can do uppercut elbows, boom, boom. If you want, you can do some hammer fists. And uh, which one's the least tiring? Mm, none of them. Okay. 
And uh, if you want, you don't have baby hands, you can punch with your hands, throw some elbows, hammer fists. If you're, uh, if you're feeling like you're not too tired, it's kind of easy. Yeah. You can come over here, knee on belly, yeah. your opponent. Boom, boom, boom. Elbow, elbow, switch. Other side, knee on belly. Boom, boom, boom. Elbow, elbow, hammer fist, hammer fist. And that's it. Okay. So just beat this bag up. Okay. So I get on them. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Elbow comes from the top, right? From the top. And then knee on belly. Punch, punch, punch. Hammer fist. And then. Right? Exactly like that, yeah. but like 50 times harder. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to whisper in the ear. Oh, and don't forget your secret weapon. Whispering in the ear. <laughs> That's why they make the gloves like that. <laughs> yeah, open finger. <laughs> you can use all finger. Anyone here? Like one round, probably, right? Yeah, this is one rotation. <laughs> and then you go from heavy to light, and you go back the other way. All right. So five. I pick it up, and I, I go all the way up here, like complete full extension. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna come down. So I don't want you to come down bending over your back. I want you to come down kind of in a squat. Oh, okay. Come down like this. Yeah. Pick it up over your head. Slam oh, as hard as you can. Okay. okay. Five, five, five. Yes. How do you feel right now after the? Okay, lifters? so I'm like really tired, and then you know, powerlifters, if it's like high volume day, I might do five reps, maybe eight. And so when we're doing five here, five there, five there, in my powerlifting calculator, that's already 15 reps. I'm um, like, that's, you might as well call this a bodybuilding workout, because I don't know what's happening. But uh, I'll try to do it, and I gotta go over there and beat some guy up. It's, it's very, uh, it's very mean. Oh, and I forgot, sprint in between each station. So from here to here, sprint, slam, slam, sprint, slam, slam, beat the guy up. Okay. You ready? No. <laughs> All right, start. Let's go, Bart. Go boy, come on. You got it, you got it. I've, no seen, you I've seen people do this before. Elbows, elbows. Go back. Big bag. What? Start here, five. Oh, Heavy the light. Come on, come on. Five, five, five. Rolls. You didn't even have to sprint. I did. I went all the way from there. Three more, come on. Almost done. Leg one, it's easy now. 
Yeah. Rinse, 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 rinse. Oh. Come on. You gotta work, come on. No, not my booty hole. Hey, <laughs> take my booty hole. <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> my booty hole is yours. Is yours. Take it. Take my booty. Take it. Carly, did you teach him this move? <laughs> take my booty. <laughs> End time. Take my booty. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Extra credit. Oh my God. <laughs> The conditioning, my goodness, so strong. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, everyone always says me and Khabib have the same level of endurance. And I think I clearly showed it today. You mean Kebab? No. Or the fighter Khabib? Yeah. I don't think anyone says that. Khabib and the Gubadema. Uh huh. Yeah, we have a uh, same endurance. I showed my ground and pound today. No one's getting away from me. You know how Khabib says like, oh, like I'm ready to give me like a minute and I'll fight again? Yeah, full Are fight. Are you down to do the whole workout again right now? No, 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 no. That's, uh, see, he's, he's an up and comer, right? So he has to say those things. When you've been like a 12 time champion, uh -huh. you, you don't have to prove yourself. Didn't you bomb out a couple of meets and then, uh... What are you talking about? I don't know. Why are you making up lies? Bombed out once, maybe twice. Okay, Carla. So this is your first time meeting Bart, uh, and you took him through a quick training. Uh, what do you think about his skills in MMA so far? <laughs> um, I definitely think his best weapon is his uh, trash talking. <laughs> he did, he did pretty good job, but uh, definitely his uh, he was pretty funny the whole time. So, do you think uh, being funny is a skill to have in the ring? Um. You know, I think it's uh, it's good to have. Like, if you're uh, you want to be like a YouTube highlight reel of someone getting like knocked out. <laughs> My game plan: I'm probably gonna go in 100%, show no mercy. You know, she's been bossing me around all freaking day. I'm tired of that. You know, I don't think anyone deserves to be talked to like that. I'm a human being, so I'm gonna freaking lay it down hard and she better watch out because she might get beat up before her next fight in a month. <laughs> I think if he had to fight someone today, um, I don't think it would go too well. <laughs> My game plan, you know, Bart is super nice. I think I just, you know, want to go in there and have fun and, uh, you know, not go too hard on him. Are you pretty confident that you're going to win? Of course. See how small she is? I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna bum rush her, like the way, uh, can't think of an analogy, I'm too tired. What's a funny analogy? Tell me something the name that I could say, but it seems original, and everyone's like, ha ha ha, Bart said it. Uh, you're gonna bum rush her how she came up with all these trainings and you were really bad and you... I'm gonna bum rush her so hard like she came up with these trainings and it hurt me. Um, you know, Bart is a little bit bigger than me, so it's, uh, you know, I think it's gonna be skill versus muscle, but, you know, I think, uh, skill always kind of takes over, but, uh, I'm not gonna go too easy. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Coming in. All right, guys, I want to see a nice, clean fight. No scratching, no biting, no butthole things, nothing weird, okay? That's my secret weapon. Guys. Yes. Not allowed. Where's your stopwatch? <laughs> you have to stop at 60 seconds. It's a mental stopwatch. We got this, okay? Oh, so go ahead and get to your corners, guys. Let's do this. I want a nice, clean, and fair fight. Semi clean. Is this corner ready? What does John Jones do? Yes. Uh, or Congressman <laughs> Silva. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Is this corner ready? And fight! <laughs> Oh. No! 59 more seconds. No. Why is it so scary? Come on, Bart, get out of it. Everything we worked on, Bart. Everything. Everything else. <laughs> I never learned this stuff. <laughs> you can hit him harder too. Pretend like you're slip. Pretend like you're standing. Oh! Tap, 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 tap. Are you okay? <laughs> I guess it was this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the judges. Alright, that was round one. <laughs> How'd you feel? So, I'm glad Ron stayed true to the time because she would have got destroyed if we went longer. Hey, it went exactly as planned. She only took one arm, so he still has another arm left. Yeah. Very disappointing, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> See? Elbow. What, what's this stuff? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get him, Carl! <laughs> you can't run! You guys should just get in the car, follow us back to LA. <laughs> yeah, he's about to. Yeah. Uh, Anaheim. Santa Ana. Long Beach. You just get a cup of me running down the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's it? What? Well, you guys gonna go do down? another one? Yeah. Fine. All right, Donnie, get beat up one more time. <laughs> you guys wanna do another one? Do you have the energy for it or are you okay with it? Uh, alright. Yeah, I think she just feels sorry for me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, like, hold it back a little bit more, Bart, you're kind of going a little too all out. Goodness. Hey. You gotta save some of the tricks for later. Let's not use them all right away. All right, you guys ready? Are you ready? Round two, fight! Stay calm, cool, collected. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no! Oh, blood has been shed! This is scary! Is it hers or yours? Of course it's hers, <laughs> and not us. Oh no! Oh no! This is where you got her! You got her! You got her! You got her! <laughs> oh. I beat her up so bad that I'm bleeding. I'm so glad we went a second time. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, uh, can, you, can, can you get shots to the left? Smile. <laughs> can you uh, stand behind him and just like with the fist? Yeah. <laughs> One more, one more, one more. Oh shit. You guys gonna knife him? Yeah, yeah, we got disinfectants. Okay. Let's go. Okay, How does that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. I think I, you punched me and I ran straight into it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Good job. Ron, do you have your phone on you? What's up? I think I'm gonna punch you. Oh shit. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, I think it's my nose is too buff. So it's like it's already pumped. That's so when you just tap it. It's like. <laughs> it hurts more though. Your nose hurts. That's the thing. Is your hand okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went like this and it went right through. I was like, uh, yeah. oh fuck. Wait, so what, what happened? <laughs> so like, I've been training with Ron, right? We do stand up and stuff. I haven't really worked on ground, so obviously you could tell I got murdered. Um, but when we're doing the big gloves, I'm so used to being able to cover like this. And I could block it, but I forgot how small these guys were. So she comes right through and just goes, peekaboo, bam! And smacks her in the face. And uh, yeah, it was a good, good morning surprise. And now I feel like I'm less of a man, and Gio's gonna be like, you got your ass kicked, and now I have to do chores at home. And so sad. But you got your ass kicked by a badass, so it's. By a badass, by the first strawweight UFC champion, which means. Anyone that wasn't, I could kick their ass easily. 
Easily? Yeah, I could only I, I only lose to champions. Mm. Everyone else, I could like kick their like like uh what's that fool's name? He's, he thinks he's good, stylebender, kick his ass. Mm. You know, like all those guys. Diaz brothers, <laughs> kick their ass. Too real! Too real. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I think I found out why I lost. I didn't use my own technique, which is make you laugh. And uh, that's how I fucked up. So I should have like made her laugh, whispered some weird things, and then she would have dropped her hands. But I messed up. I think, I think that was a good first fight. Yeah. Oh, do you consider that a pro fight? Since it was the pro fighter? Um, you know, we didn't make it five minutes quite. Sometimes you don't have to go that, that, that long. <laughs> But I usually think it's if you gotta finish the other oh, person. Oh, I see. Okay, so I got half pro fight in. Shout outs to Carla, shout outs to Ron, shout outs to Team Oyama for letting us do this. It was super duper fun. Um, you guys know I'm a big fan of MMA, so it's an honor to get beat up by Carla and do those crazy ass workouts that I'll never ever do ever again. If you guys like our content, support the brand, go to barbellbrigade.com, link in the description over here, and cards over here. See you guys next time. Peace.